What's up, guys? Michael Stubbles here, and today is another episode of Help Wolf. So, everybody's been thinking about, like, suicide. We're going to be talking about mental and emotional health. Like, there's some, like, depression. Some people have died because of depression due to suicide. But I'm telling you that killing yourself is never going to work. Please, if you kill yourself, it's not going to make problems better. It's going to make it worse. So, with depression and everything... Besides, killing yourself is never the answer. Like, it's never, ever, ever, ever the answer. I know you want to kill yourself because you're dumb and live. But before you do, call Suicide Prevention Hotline. Please. If you really are thinking about killing yourself, please call them. For when they will help you. Alright, guys. If you're thinking about killing yourself, there's so many options you could try. We're going to search up suicide. How to prevent... Suicide. We're gonna look up the this. All right, so there's some people who are um. I'm gonna here. All right, so so there's some some options of suicide. Like some people want to kill themselves, but there's um things. So people have attempted suicide in the past. There might be a recent death of somebody close to them, or a history of suicide in their family. Or like a victim of violence or bullying or abuse. Once that happens, and they might just think it's a good idea to just plop that gun in their mouth. And but I'm telling you guys, that's not the answer. All right. So like some people, if they're killing themselves, they might feel like sad, or sometimes in depression form. But we're gonna be. If you see somebody look wanting to commit suicide, look at their behavior. Like, if you, if a person is talking, reading, or writing a, about death or suicide, but you can stop them from being suicidal. There's some things you could try. I'm at the wiki page right now. If you use your clues about them suicide, and then connect with the person, then listen to them. Then if you understand how they feel and express your concern, then you might stop them, but that doesn't work. And they still want to kill themselves. Call suicide prevention hotline. And then support people who, who have committed suicide. Like, they're having a troubled time right now. And they're killing themselves. I'm telling you guys, it's not Fortnite, so please, don't kill yourself in real life. It's never the answer. It's never okay. Alright, guys? So, before I sign off right now, think. Do you really want to kill yourself? When there's so much to live for. Alright. I'm going to sign off now. But please. Take that take that extra second. And think about. If you're killing yourself or not. Hey guys. What's up? So this episode of Advice will be about money. You know. Everybody loves money. Money, 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 money. You know. I got that from Mr. Krabs. And Spongebob. You know. So there's a lot of places that you can spend your money. But it's also a good idea to save your money. So unless you have a rich life and, and you make $2 billion a month, you should probably not waste your money on buying Gucci. There's a website called Gucci.com. I wouldn't go get that. I wouldn't buy that stuff off Gucci.com. It's too expensive. The, the precious handbags are like $32,000. And watches, like, the watches are made of real gold and emerald. So I wouldn't, like, spend money then unless you're, like, a billionaire. Alright? So if you guys got money, make sure you spend on bills. If you guys... Want to save money? Just go go to Walmart and buy an antenna because you know it's a one-time installation. And you don't have to pay the bills. You don't have to pay the electricity. I mean, not, you don't have to pay the TV bill because it's a one-time installation. You guys get access to whole, hundreds of channels such as the CW, NBC, CBS, My Network TV, Fox, and you know, as long it's gotta be in your local area. Make sure it's make sure you get an antenna. That's you gotta you gotta get reception in your local area. If you're, in a, if you're at a place where you get reception at all, then you should totally get an antenna. And if and if, and if you guys want, you guys can also get a free phone. There's free phones now. This is an iPhone. This is a $600 iPhone. And, you know, I have more expensive stuff than that, you know. And anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, the last two episodes of Advice will be review. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. 
Hey guys, what's up? I'm Michael Stop and welcome to this new series I'm working on right now. So this is the first episode I'm going to air it as a sneak peek. And the rest of the series will come on later this year. But anyway, this is just the first episode. This will not be in part of the schedule yet. But and this is a new series I'm calling Health Talk. Which is basically a spinoff of Health Wolf. So if you guys watched my episodes of Health Wolf, you guys would know that this series... You guys know that this series is going to be based on health. Hence the name. But how we're... Not only will this cover like stuff that Health Wolf already covered, it will cover new stuff that I have not covered in Health Wolf, such as heart disease, and and some injury and safety ones, which I'm gonna be removing that series from the lineup in favor of Health Talk. So yeah, I'm gonna be focusing primarily on Health Talk now. I will be going on with career advice, which will put me alongside now. I don't know when these new episodes will arrive, but I promise they will arrive eventually but anyway guys that's all for today because you this video if you guys enjoyed be sure to like to subscribe i'm michael stop content you will enjoy and this is the first episode of health talk titled health talk begins i love you guys thanks for watching bye guys hey guys what's up so it's coming to my intention that we should talk about facebook for our episode of social media advice the very first season will be exclusively for daytime and the second season which I have just announced, I'm announcing now that it's the final season. The second season will be the final season. And that season will move exclusively to my new primetime blog, which will premiere later this month. Alright, so we're going to talk about Facebook. So let's talk about some of the do's and don'ts. Here's some do's. Do use your real name. Remember, you got if you're going to add people, they got to know who it's who it really is. So it won't be a good idea to call yourself Farboy on your Facebook account, despite how funny it might be. Do add some, add, do give a bio. You want to tell people who you are and new people who don't even know you that you're going to add. All right, and now with some don'ts. I'll be, one more do first. Do follow the community guidelines. You should always follow the community guidelines. And I'm going to explain why you should in the don'ts. Don't make up false false news information. Everybody knows that making false news information is bad. So don't say that you just figured out the cure for coronavirus on July of 2020. Everybody knows that's a lie. And don't don't say that you that you have saved the world from 400 bad guys in one hour. That's not possible. Don't break the community guidelines. And let me tell you why. In case you know what the community guidelines are, they're basically the same as Instagram. No nudity, no posting hate crimes laws, no posting violence, and no, no impersonation, and most importantly, make sure it's all age appropriate. Don't break these community guidelines, because if you do, Facebook does have a thing called Facebook Jail. In case you know what Facebook Jail is, it's like a program on Facebook that restricts your it restricts your ability to use things on Facebook, like post or add people. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I got nothing else more to talk about. I am Michael Stowell. Content you will enjoy. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.